Hey everyone, it's Dark Star. So, a lot of bad news out there I know, and I don't want to talk about bad news right now. I want to talk about good news, right? So, some good things may come of this. For one thing, one thing I've always wondered about, because I see people in casinos wearing masks like this, even before all this crap that we're dealing with now, and they wear it like I do sometimes when I play slots for the smoke. So we don't have to read all that smoke. I don't see too many people at blackjack tables wearing masks, but maybe that'll change now. You know, they're, they're recommending everyone wear masks right now when you go out. And I'm, I'm definitely going to do that. And it's not to protect myself. It's to protect other people because maybe I have it since I was out in casinos when this thing first started. I haven't been in a casino since the middle of March, but I was in casinos the early part of March. I don't have any symptoms, but I could be carrying it. And this flimsy little mask is not going to protect me, but it will protect others if I have it. I don't think I have it. Now, even when the main crisis is over, it doesn't mean that this virus is going away. It's still going to be around. So, it's going to be considered acceptable for people to go out in public wearing masks like this. You see it in Asia a lot already, even before COVID-19. So, if it's acceptable and it's normal to wear a mask, now I don't know what's going to happen. What are they going to do? Are they going to say you have to remove your mask at the blackjack table? That could be considered a health hazard, especially now. It already seems like I could say, well, I want it to protect myself from the smoke, which is an added side benefit. Now, obviously, I can't wear this hat and the glasses and all that, but if I can hide most of my face, that might get me back into a lot of places that I'm not welcome at. It's worth a try. Something to think about. The other thing I want to talk about today is what do you do now? You can't go to the casino, right? You can only watch so much Netflix, okay? I haven't started to watch that uh, Tiger show yet. Forgot the name of it right now. But what else can you do? Well, this is the time to, first of all, don't forget that you need to be practicing. You should be practicing as much as possible. I use Casino Verite software through QFIT, it's a CVBJ, Casino Verite Blackjack, um, Blackjack Apprenticeship uh, is another good source. If you want to join their site, they have practice software on there. They have a lot of good videos on YouTube, by the way, so you don't just have to watch mine. They've got a lot of good stuff on there. I highly recommend them. I also highly recommend listening to the podcast, Gambling with an Edge. I usually do that in the car while I'm driving to casinos, but nothing wrong with doing it from my couch as well. And this is also a good time to maybe learn some new skills. Uh, I would, I've would i been spending a lot of time on the Wizard of Odds website. A lot of good information on there if you want to learn something else other than Blackjack. I mean, he's got good Blackjack information too, but I go there to learn about other things that that, I, that I'm not that good at. A lot of good information there about all kinds of casino games. And also, instead of watching so much TV, good time to start reading. Now, I'm not here to just plug my book, but if you are a beginner at counting cards, I do have a book out there. It's pretty good. Kind of sums up everything that's in all of the other literature. Okay, there's nothing groundbreaking in here. All right, this is just basically putting everything that I learned from a lot of different books into one book. So you have it all in one place. And I consider it a good beginner book. Uh, I'm not going to say it's the best blackjack book ever. There are other great blackjack books. If you're just starting out, this is one that I highly recommend. Play Blackjack Like the Pros by Kevin Blackwood. Very good book to start out. And then once you get a little bit better at it, 
most of the stuff in my book, most of the technical stuff in my book, I stole. Well, I didn't really steal it. I gave him credit in the book, of course. But I took from Don Schlesinger's Black Jacket Tack. Okay, I have the third edition. I think there might be a fourth edition out now. I'm not positive on that. Uh, but this is an excellent book that goes beyond the basics. This book assumes that you already know how to count cards. And this is where the illustrious 18 comes from. Don Schlesinger invented that. Um, so this is a great source of information. This is also where the simulator program, Casino Verite, Chapter 10, so it's CVCX, that's also available on QFIT. It's based on Chapter 10 of this book. So this is where all the math concepts came from for that program. And actually, one of the best books ever written on Blackjack was published less than a year ago, and it pertains more to the modern game. Because all those other books that I talked about, that's more like 20th century, so what just came out recently is The 21st Century Card Counter by Colin Jones. This is an excellent, excellent book. And this is my approach now to the game of blackjack and how I don't use camouflage hardly at all anymore. Uh, Colin doesn't use any camouflage, doesn't recommend camouflage at all. There's so many casinos, you can't possibly be kicked out of all of them. And even if somehow you were... By the time they kicked you out of all of them, you'd go back to the first one that kicked you out and they wouldn't probably even remember you. Um, he doesn't exactly say it, say it that way in here, but that's, that's my take on his approach. Um, this book has interviews with several other professional blackjack players. So this is a great, great book and one that everybody should definitely read. It's not going to necessarily teach you the fundamentals so much. So this is for people, once you learn how to count and you learn the indexes and all that, then this is an excellent book before you actually get out there and start your career. Okay. 21st Century Card Counter by Colin Jones. Highly recommend it. Blackjack Apprenticeship, which I mentioned, is also... he. He runs that site. Um, while you're reading, this is definitely outdated, but any good card counter should at least be familiar with Beat the Dealer by the great Edward Thorpe. He's the one that pretty much started it all. Now, he didn't exactly invent count, card counting. It was out there, but this book is what brought card counting to millions of people. And this is the first real book on card counting. Okay, there was some white papers and things like that before this, but Dr. Thorpe is the one that really put it all together in a way that people could understand, normal people could understand, not just mathematicians. So, like I said, it's dated. The game has changed a lot because of this book. The casinos changed their rules because... Ed Thorpe showed everybody how you could beat the game. And back then, there were some games that were beatable right off the top. And Thorpe showed you how to do that. So you should be familiar with that. If you really want to get into the math of it, you could. I use this as kind of a reference guide. This is The Theory of Blackjack by Peter Griffin. Um, this is... This is a little heady for me. You know, I'm not a big math guy. But th if you if you want to really understand, you know, why you hit 15 against the 10, this will explain that. It will explain the math behind a lot of that. And, and other things, too. A lot of things. So um, the effect of what happens. Why do the deviations make sense when you have less 10s in the deck? Why does it make sense to do this or that? This explains that. For so for people that don't want to just memorize basic strategy or indexes, they want to know the reason why it's happening, they want to understand the math behind it, or maybe you are a mathematician, maybe you're really into math, then you would enjoy this book. For most of us, it would be like um, reading a book on uh, 
I don't know, calculus or something. Uh, another good book, too. You might have a lot of time on your hands. Uh, Stanford Wong, Professional Blackjack. Stanford Wong wrote a few books. This is my favorite of the ones that he wrote. So just to give you some ideas what you can be doing, um, keep practicing. The casinos will reopen again at some point. So when it comes to practice, of course, playing blackjack on the simulator is fun or on the Casino Verite blackjack uh, software I'm talking about. Not the sim the simulator really is uh, where you can simulate the playing blackjack. It'll play against itself, but the practice software that they make, CV, BJ, that's fun to play. What you see me doing right now is flashcards. And, uh, of course, I'm recording this after I did it already, so you can just watch me play. But basically, I set this up to give me two two cards and a dealer up card and then you have to pick the correct move whether you hit stand whatever and over where it says count there and it's I don't know if you can see that it's kind of small but it says count and right now it's at three so that's saying if the count is three and you have 13 against a three what do you do you know uh, or if it's thir you know or if it's count as one what do you do so it's testing me on the index plays okay and you can set this for all the indexes you can set it for just the illustrious 18 uh, i'm not sure if you can do sweet 16 or not like if you didn't want to do the 10 splits but you know me if you've watched my other videos you know i like splitting those 10 so i i left that in there so then but this is this is actually i think better than playing with the simulator the simulator playing against the computer that's fun and uh, I'm going to show you a video of that here in a second too but I think this is actually better practice you know it's kind of like if you were going to work on baseball it might be more fun to actually play like a scrimmage but you might if, if you need to work on your hitting it might be more beneficial on oh, here I messed up what I do 12 against 6 Oh, you know what? Yeah, I remember this when this happened. I wasn't trying to click the. I have a little. Uh, I don't use. I'm using a laptop, and so it's not like a regular mouse. So I was trying to just slide my finger, and it thought I tapped it. Um, so you can choose to believe that or not, but I actually knew the right play on that. I just it tapped the wrong button on accident. So because uh, that was a pretty obvious one. So I was at 98 percent. Should have been 100 percent, but uh, technical error. All right, so then, of course, we have the practice software. You know, this is the more fun stuff, so pick this up um, in the middle of it here. And count. I set this up with a starting bankroll of 5,000, and I'm going to bet 10 at neutral or negative counts, 15 at a true count of 1, and then 30 at a true count of 2, and then 50 at 3, and then 75, and 100, and 150, I believe, is my max bet. Um, so here I'm, I'm showing you that it's negative, and I'm going to go ahead and shuffle this up. And, in fact, what we're going to do is actually we're going to change this to more positive counts. See if we can get um, a higher count here, because... I was doing this for a long time, and I just, it kept being negative counts, and it was kind of boring. So I'm going to switch this up now. It's going to purposely give me positive counts. So got a pair of 10s against the 3. Stand, of course. And uh, I'll just let you guys watch me play for a while, and then if I see something interesting, I'll uh, break in and talk about it. But uh, you can just see how I practice. Yeah, I have it set a lot slower than I normally practice at, but that's because I was doing the video and stuff like that, and uh, I wanted it to look more like a regular game for you guys. So, 11, double down, of course. There we go. So, let me know what questions you guys have.
about what you see in the practice. Maybe you see uh, me do something you think is wrong. Uh, go ahead and put a comment in there. Maybe it was because it was an index play. Uh, if it's a mistake, you're going to see the software point it out. So it's possible I'll make a mistake, and then the software will point that out, and I will explain uh, why I messed up. But if you don't see it say that I made a mistake, and you still think it's a mistake, it's probably because it's an index play. So go ahead and put it in the comments, and uh, I will explain what happened there. Um, so please comment, please Insurance. like the video. Please subscribe, and if you do subscribe, go ahead and hit that notification button. Click on the bell so that you get notified. Consider checking out our Patreon page. I've got uh, a blog on there that I've started. Uh, that's available to anybody. You don't have to become a patron. You can check out the blog. Um, I'll put uh, little links in here for you to click on to go to that if you see up in the top right corner you should see a little info button and then that'll take you to our patreon page if you want to check out our blog and things like that all right otherwise i'm just going to let this go for a little while and i'll see you in a little bit at the end of this practice session Dealer has blackjack. So sometimes it's hard to decide on here because uh, these aren't real cards. You know, these pick well, they are real cards, kind of, but it's hard to tell sometimes looking at this screen compared to real cards. That's around four decks left, might be three. So that's what I was trying to decide there. That's why you saw me looking at that tray. Um, now I'm thinking I'm going to go with three decks left. Yeah, I'm going to call that three decks left. All right.
Insurance Oh, I love this. You guys know I do this in real life. Split these tens because the count is so high. Split them again. Split them again. Yep. Absolutely. You got 13, 17, 20, 20. You can't split them again. You can only split them up to four hands. And we end up with a push, but I don't care. I love splitting tens. Uh, that should chase all the ploppies off the table. Oh, he split tens. He's an idiot. Yeah. Well, it's the right play at this high of a count. Just like standing on that 15 against the 9 was the right play at this high of a count. Now we got blackjack. That's good. You're going to get more blackjacks at this high of a count. Dealer can get blackjacks too, but I'll trade blackjacks insurance. with the dealer all night long. Oh, you got to take the insurance. That's the right play here at this high of a count. Nope, no blackjack. That's all right. Now I got 15 against the ace, and I got to stand. So I look like an idiot. That's fine. If they think I'm an idiot, that's exactly what I want because they don't throw idiots out of the casino for losing money. All right, thanks everyone. And once they do reopen, may the count be with you.